Lesson 2 Procedure for Alteration of Memorandum and Articles Learning Objectives The expression alter means to modify change or vary, to make or become different, to change in character, appearance, etc., to change in some respect. As per Section 2-3 of the Companies Act, 2013 alter and alteration shall include the making of additions, omissions and substitutions. In accordance with this definition of alteration, an addition or an omission of a provision or a clause, a word, a phrase or an expression would be regarded, an alteration. The alteration of memorandum or alteration of articles requires the compliances of Section 13 and 14 respectively. The scheme of the Act prescribes elaborately the scope of alteration and the procedure for effecting alteration of the memorandum and articles which may be permissible for a company under the Act. After reading this lesson, the students will be able to understand the procedural aspects relating to alteration in the clauses of memorandum and articles of association of the company. 1. Change of name of a company A company desiring to change its name may do so in accordance with the provisions of Section 13 of the Companies Act, 2013. The section lays down that a company may, by special resolution and with the approval of the central government signified in writing, change its name. The power of the central government under Section 13 2 to approve change in the name has been delegated to Registrar of Companies. However, if the only change required is the addition thereto or deletion therefrom, of the word private, consequent upon conversion of any one class of companies to another class, no such approval of central government is required. In the light of the above provisions of Section 13 of the Act, the company has to take the following procedural steps. 1. Issue notice in writing to every director of the company at his address registered with the company and the notice shall be sent by hand delivery or by post or by electronic means as per the provisions of Section 173-3 of the Companies Act 2013. The notice must be a seven-day notice. The notice must contain time, date and venue for the board meeting and detailed agenda of the business to be transacted thereat. 2. Hold the board meeting to, I, consider and approve the proposed name by passing a resolution. The board should use search facility at portal of the Ministry of Corporate Affairs to check the availability of name. In case of any doubt for availability, the board may consider and decide five more names in order of their preference. The proposed name shall not be identical with name of existing company or shall not be undesirable in the opinion of the central government. Subsection 2 and 3 of Section 4 these names are required to be given in the application for availability of name to be made to the Registrar, Central Registration Center informing Incorporated one for his consideration. If the proposed name is not available, the five additional names may be considered by the Registrar and whichever of those names is available, the same be reserved for the company. A formal board resolution is required to be passed at the meeting. 2. Authorize the company secretary director to make the required application to the Registrar, Central Registration Center inform Incorporated one for seeking availability of the proposed name and pay the prescribed application fee. 3. The application inform Incorporated one to the Registrar of Companies accompanied by a fee paid electronically should have the following documents as attachment, i, in case of change of name of an existing company, a copy of board resolution, 2. If change of name is due to direction received from the central government, then copy of such direction. 3. In case the proposed names are based on a registered trademark or is a subject matter of an application pending for registration under the Trademarks Act, 1999, the approval of the owner of the trademark or the applicant of such application for registration of trademark. 4 copy of central government inverted exclamation mark broken bar s approval in case the proposed name contains such words or expressions for which the approval of central government is required v proof of relation phi in principle approval from the concerned regulator 7 knock from the sole proprietor slash partners slash other associates 8 knock from existing company 9 copy of affidavit in case proposed name including phrase electoral trust Resolution of Unregistered Companies in Case of Chapter 21, Part I, Companies, 11, Order of Competence Authority as Required. 
12. Optional attachment, if any. Part C of this form is required to be filled properly, as change of name require government approval. There is no need for separate application. If the proposed name is available, the same should be adopted, that is to say, the adoption of such name should be effected, within 60 days from the date of intimation by the registrar. The name allowed shall lapse after expiry of 60 days, from the date it is allowed. On filing form no. Incorporated, 1. The system will process and generate a service request number, SRN, which shall be used for tracking the status of name clearance. 4. On receipt of approval of name, the company secretary, director must, in consultation with the chairman of the board, fix time, date and venue for holding another board meeting for transacting the following business, i, to take note of the approval received from the ROC. 2. To fix time, date and venue for holding a general meeting, annual or extraordinary, of the shareholders of the company, a, for passing a special resolution for changing the name of the company, and, b, to approve notice of the general meeting and the explanatory statement to be annexed to the notice for the general meeting and to authorize the company secretary, director to issue the notice on behalf of the board. 5. Issue notice of the general meeting to all the members of the company, its directors and the auditors. 6. The listed entity shall intimate the stock exchange within 24 hours of the occurrence of event where the securities of the company are listed, refer Regulation 36 of SEBI, Listing Obligations and Disclosure Requirements, Regulations, 2015. 7. A general notice of the proposed general meeting may also be published in newspapers. 8. Hold the general meeting and pass the resolutions as contained in the notice. 9. Intimate stock exchange about alterations in memorandum and articles of the company within 24 hours of the occurrence of event. Refer Regulation 36 of SEBI, Listing Obligations and Disclosure Requirements, Regulations, 2015, 10. Sent to each stock exchange, a copy of the proceedings of the general meeting in case shares of the company are listed. Refer Regulation 36 of SEBI, Listing Obligations and Disclosure Requirements, Regulations, 2015. 11. Make an application in Form No. Incorporated 24 to the central government, delegated to Registrar of Companies, along with a copy of Resolution and other necessary attachment. Change of name shall not be allowed to a company which has defaulted in filing its annual returns or financial statement or any document due for filing with registrar or which has defaulted in repayment of matured deposits or debentures or interest on deposits or debentures, Rule 29, 12. File with the ROC Form No. MGT 14 with a certified true copy of each special resolution passed at the general meeting along with the explanatory statement under Section 102 and altered copy of Memorandum of Association and Articles of Association and prescribed filing fee. The form MGT 14 has to be pre-certified by a practicing professional that is, CA slash CS or CWA. 13. After scrutiny of the documents filed. The ROC shall issue a fresh certificate of incorporation in form incorporated 25 digitally signed. 14. Issue, if necessary, a general notice in newspapers informing all concerned, about the change of name of the company. 15. Intimate all concerned persons, authorities about the changed name of the company, particularly the stock exchanges, National Securities Depository Limited, Central Depository Services, India. Limited, Income Tax Authorities, Central Excise Authorities, Sales Tax Authorities and various states, Customs Authorities, Chief Inspector of Factories, Regional Provident Fund Commissioner, Suppliers of Raw Materials, Customers, Banks etc. 16. Arrange for a new common seal and have the same adopted at a meeting of the Board of Directors and keep both the old and the new common seals under lock and key. To have common seal is made optional by companies. Amendment, Act, 2015. 17. Get stationery printed with the new name and or affix rubber stamp of the new name on all the existing stationery including the blank share certificates. 18. Get the new name of the company painted on all the signboards or name boards wherever they are displayed. 19. Correct all records, 
registers including the register of members, charges registered with ROC, share certificates, debenture certificates, bonds and other securities, every copy of memorandum and articles of association, other books and documents pertaining to the company's business and affairs. Change of name by rectification according to Section 16, 1, A, of the Act. If a company is registered through inadvertence or otherwise by a name which in the opinion of central government is identical with or too nearly resembles, the name by which a company in existence has been previously registered, the central government may direct the company to change its name. The company shall change the name by ordinary resolution at the direction of the central government. In such a case, the company should pass an ordinary resolution within three months from the date of issue of the direction. There is no time limit for central government to issue such direction. Further, according to Section 16.1b of the Act of 2013, a registered proprietor may apply with central government within three years of incorporation or registration or change of name of the company for direction to the company for change of its name. Where, in the opinion of the central government the name is identical with or too nearly resembles to an existing trademark, it may direct the company to change its name. The company shall by adopting an ordinary resolution change its name within a period of six months from the issue of such direction. The procedure to be followed in this case is as under, I, Board of Directors to pass resolutions for, A, to approve change of name, B, to make application and form incorporated, one of the company's rules for reservation of another name along with the direction received from the central government, C to convene a general meeting and to authorize the company secretary or any director to issue notice, d, to provide necessary authorizations to the company secretary, any director to sign various forms slash documents for this purpose, 2, convene general meeting and pass ordinary resolution for change of name by rectification, 3, intimate the registrar and obtain fresh certificate of incorporation from the registrar. Section 1624 after approval is received, the change will be carried out wherever the name appears. v. Issue, if necessary, a general notice in newspapers informing all concerned, about the change of name of the company. v. Intimate all concerned persons, authorities about the changed name of the company, particularly the stock exchanges, National Securities Depository Limited, Central Depository Services, India, Limited, Income Tax Authorities, Central Excise Authorities, Sales Tax Authorities in various states, Customs Authorities, Chief Inspector of Factories, Regional Provident Fund Commissioner, Suppliers of Raw Materials, Customers, Banks etc. 7. Arrange for a new common seal and have the same adopted at a meeting of the Board of Directors and keep both the old and the new common seals under lock and key. To have common seal is made optional by Companies. Amendment, Act, 2015. 8. Get stationery printed with the new name and or affix rubber stamp of the new name on all the existing stationery including the blank share certificates. 9. Get the new name of the company painted on all the signboards or name boards wherever they are displayed. X. Correct all records, registers including the register of members, charges registered with ROC, share certificates, debenture certificates, bonds and other securities, every copy of memorandum and articles of association, other books and documents pertaining to the company's business and affairs. Effect of change of name of a company 1. Continue existence of company, the Companies Act, 2013 does not talk about effect of the change of name as this is well settled that change of name colon shall not affect any rights or obligations of the company semicolon shall not render defective any legal proceedings by or against the company and shall not affect any legal proceedings continued or commenced by or against the company pending in its old name, they may continue in its new name. The Act recognizes the continued existence of a company which has changed its name. The effect of the issue of the Certificate of Incorporation on change of name is not to reform or reincorporate the company as a new entity. When the section refers to the company changing its name, it recognizes the continued existence of the company notwithstanding the change. Economic Investment Corporation Limited v. CIT, 1970, 40 Comp Cas 1, California, a change of name of a company does not result in its dissolution and incorporation of a new company under a new name. 
Section 13 permits a company to change its name in the manner as prescribed. Old case laws relating to earlier acts may still valid regarding change of name of a company. Subsection 3 of Section 13 states that where a company changes its name, the registrar shall enter the new name on the register in the place of the old name, and shall issue a fresh certificate of incorporation with the necessary alterations embodied therein and the change of name shall be complete and effective only on the issue of such a certificate. It would be observed that the emphasis is on the expression change of name. Kalaprata Sinhu v. Mahalaxmi Bank Limited Air 1966 Calories 585, 2. Right to sue, a change of name under Section 13 does not affect the rights and obligations of the company or render defective any legal proceedings by or against it, and any legal proceedings, which might have been continued or commenced by or against the company by its former name, may be continued by or against the company by its new name. When a company is converted into a public company, apart from the change in its name, the constitution and the entity of the company is not affected in any other manner and the legal proceedings instituted by its former name can be continued by its new name. Solvex Soils and Fertilizers v. Banda Uri Cross Fields, p. Ltd., 1978, 48 com cases 260, p and h. The change of name does not affect the entity of the company or its continuity as the same entity. It remains for all practical purposes the same entity with same rights, privileges and liabilities as before. In case of change of name during the pendency of legal proceedings by or against the company, the question which arises before the court is whether the proceedings are initiated by an entity which is not in existence or by an entity in existence but only misdescribed in the plaint. Pioneer Protective Glass Fiber P. Limited v. Fiber Glass Bilkington Limited, 1986, 60 com cases 707, Gall, D.B., 1985, 3 com Pell J. 309, Gall, if a company ceases to be in existence, the plane is liable to be rejected, Sri Chaudhary Cold Storage, 1972, v. Ruby General Insurance Company Limited Air 1982 Cal 124, but if the company continued to exist, the cause title of the plaint suffers from misdescription, which could be corrected by amendment of the plaint, Patel Roadways, P. Limited v. Betashu Company, P. Limited 1979, 2, Cal HCN 279. Nothing in Section 13 authorizes the company to commence a legal proceeding in its former name at a time when it had acquired its new name, which has been put on the register of companies. Therefore, after the change of name, the company is not authorized to sue in its old name, Malhadi T. Syndicate Limited v. Revenue Officer, Jalpay Guri, 1973, 43 com cases 337, Gal. Air 1973 Calories 78. The change of name does not bring into existence a new company. The company remains the same entity as before, only the name changes. A new certificate of incorporation has to be issued but that does not incorporate a new company. 3. Tax Liability There is no substitution or succession of one legal person by another legal person in the instant case. It is only a change in name. Even in the absence of any special provision in the Income Tax Act, the change does not affect the liability of the company to pay income tax arrears. Economic Investment Corporation Limited v. CIT, 1970, 40 com cases, Gall, D.B., assessment of tax against a private limited company is no valid explanation to contend after becoming public limited company, that the assessment is not valid. Raja Moniama, N. V. Sit, 1991, 2 Com Bell J 77, Kerr, 1991, 72 Com Cases 728, 4. Execution of Decree The object of the section is to provide that notwithstanding the change in the name, there is no alteration in the constitution or the legal status of the company. Even after the name of a company is altered by special resolution and sanction by the registrar is accorded under this section the company continues to possess the same rights and is subject to the same obligations as before the change. Therefore, 
If a company has the power to execute a decree in its old name it has a right after the change to execute the decree in its new name. The fact that alteration in the name was not brought to the notice of the court would not in any manner render defective or irregular proceedings initiated by a company in its former name. A decree obtained by a company in its former name can be executed by it in the new name after it has obtained a certificate for the altered name. The change of the name does not affect the rights of the company. It is not necessary that the new name should have been entered in the decree. Abdul Kayyam, F.S. V. Men Enter Land and Building Corporation Limited, 1955, 25 Com Cases 143, All, Air 1955 All 192, 5. Shareholding by Company The company which has changed its name would be entitled to ask those companies in which it is holding shares, to substitute its old certificates by new ones. Sulphur Dice Limited v. Hickson and Dadaji Limited, 1995. 83 com cases 533 bomb 2 change of objects of a company a company may change its objects as enshrined in its memorandum of association in accordance with the provisions of sections 13 of the company's act 2013 under subsection 1 of section 13 of the act any alteration of memorandum with respect to the objects of the company is permitted through a special resolution however subsection 8. Of Section 13 Restrict Change in Object of a Company, which has raised money from public through prospectus and still has any unutilized amount out of the money so raised unless a special resolution is passed by the company and the prescribed details of such resolution shall be published in one vernacular language and one English language newspaper in circulation at the place of the registered office of the company as well as on the website of the company indicating the justification for such change in object. The dissenting shareholders shall be given an opportunity to exit from the company in accordance with the regulations specified by the Securities and Exchange Board of India. The change in objects of the company shall be effective only on registration of special resolution. According to Rule 2216A of the Company's Management and Administration, Rules, 2014, Special Resolution for Alteration of Object Clause shall be passed only through postal ballot. The company need to file with the ROC form MGT-14 with a certified true copy of each special resolution passed at the general meeting along with the explanatory statement and altered copy of Memorandum of Association and Articles of Association and prescribed filing fee. The registrar shall register any alteration of memorandum with respect to the objects of the company and certify the registration within a period of 30 days from the date of filing of the special resolution. No alteration shall have effect until it is registered. Procedure for changing objects of a company in the light of the above provisions of sections 13 of the Act, a company, desirous of altering the objects clause in its memorandum of association, is required to adopt the following procedure. 1. Issue notice in writing to every director of the company at his address registered with the company and the notice shall be sent by hand delivery or by post or by electronic means as per the provisions of Section 173, 3, of the Companies Act 2013. The notice must be a seven-day notice. The notice must contain time, date and venue for the meeting and detailed agenda of the business to be transacted thereat. 2. Hold the board meeting at the appointed time, date and venue to, I. Consider and to pass a resolution approving the proposed amendments to the objects clause of the Memorandum of Association of the Company. 2. Consider and to pass another resolution fixing time, date and venue for holding general meeting of the company for passing a special resolution under Section 13 of the Act for a change of objects clause of the Memorandum of Association of the Company. 3. Approve notice of the general meeting and draft resolution with the explanatory statement to be annexed to the notice for the general meeting and to authorize the company secretary or some other competent officer to issue the notice on behalf of the board. 3. Issue notice of the general meeting to all the members of the company, its directors and the auditors. 4. Send copies of the notice to each stock exchange where the securities of the company are listed within 24 hour of the occurrence of event refer regulation 36 of SEBI, listing obligations and disclosure requirements, regulations, 2015.
A general notice of the general meeting may also be published in newspapers. 5. Hold the general meeting and pass the proposed special resolution. Company having members up to 200 are not required to transact any business through postal ballot. 6. Intimate stock exchange about alterations in memorandum and articles of the company within 24 hours of the occurrence of event. Refer Regulation 36 of SEBI, Listing Obligations and Disclosure Requirements, Regulations, 2015. 7. Send to each stock exchanges, a copy of the proceedings of the general meeting in case of a listed company within 24 hour of the occurrence of event Refer Regulation 36 of SEBI. Listing Obligations and Disclosure Requirements, Regulations, 2015. 8. File with the Registrar of Companies, Form MGT, 14 along with a copy of the special resolution passed by the company with a copy of the explanatory statement annexed to the notice of the meeting and the amended copy of Memorandum of Association attached to the e-form, within 30 days of passing of the resolution. 9. Obtain from the Registrar of Companies. Certificate of Registration of the Alteration of the Memorandum. Under MCA 21, the user may select Get Certified Copy and follow the procedure. 10. Amend each copy of the Memorandum of Association of the company available in the office or in the alternative fresh copies of Memorandum of Association be got printed. Additional Requirement Change of Objects for which money is raised through Prospectus Rule 32 of Companies, Incorporation, Rules. 2014 contains the provisions for change of objects for which the money is raised through prospectus. 1. Where the company has raised money from public through prospectus and has any unutilized amount out of the money so raised, it shall not change the objects for which the money so raised is to be applied unless a special resolution is passed through postal ballot and the notice in respect of the resolution for altering the objects shall contain the following particulars, namely, a the total money received, b, the total money utilized for the objects stated in the prospectus, c, the unutilized amount out of the money so raised through prospectus, d, the particulars of the proposed alteration or change in the objects, e, the justification for the alteration or change in the objects, f, the amount proposed to be utilized for the new objects, g, the estimated financial impact of the proposed alteration on the earnings and cash flow of the company, h, the other relevant information which is necessary for the members to take an informed decision on the proposed resolution, i, the place from where any interested person may obtain a copy of the notice of resolution to be passed, 2, the advertisement giving details of each resolution to be passed for change in objects which shall be published simultaneously with the dispatch of postal ballot notices to shareholders. 3. The notice shall also be placed on the website of the company, if any. 3. Change of registered office of a company Section 12 of the Companies Act, 2013 lays down that every company shall have a registered office on or from the 15th day of its incorporation and at all times thereafter, to which all communications and notices may be addressed. Every company within 30 days of its incorporation or any change in address of registered office shall furnish a verification of its registered office and incorporated 22 prescribed under companies, incorporation, rules, 2014. Subsection 5 of Section 12 lays down that except on the authority of a special resolution passed by the company. The registered office of the company shall not be changed outside the local limits of any city, town or village where such office is situated. The proviso to this subsection lays down that in case of shifting of registered office from the jurisdiction of one registrar to another registrar within same state unless such change is confirmed by the regional director on an application made in this behalf. The Companies Act permits a company to change its registered office from its existing situation to another situation, i, within the local limits of the same city, town or village, or, 2, outside the local limits of the same city, town or village, a, under the jurisdiction of the same registrar of companies or, b, under the jurisdiction of another registrar of companies within the same state or, 3, from one state to another state. The procedures for each of the above cases are given here under i. Procedure for change of situation of registered office within the local limits of the city, town or village where it is presently situated.
a company desirous of changing the situation of its registered office within the local limits of the city, town or village where it is presently situated has to follow the following procedure. 1. Hold a meeting of its board of directors of the company to take a decision by passing a resolution for shifting the registered office of the company to another place within local limits of city, town or village, where it is presently situated. 2. Within 30 days of the passing of the board resolution, the company shall file with a concerned registrar of companies, form incorporated, 22 along with a copy of the board resolution. This form contains verification by any one of practicing professionals, company secretary or chartered accountant or cost accountant, in whole time practice. Further the company secretary or chartered accountant or cost accountant, in whole time practice has to personally visit the new registered office address or premises of the company and has to verify that the company actually exists at this address. In this context, he also has to certify that he has personally visited the new registered office address and is of the opinion that the premises are indeed at the disposal of the applicant company. Following documents have to be attached to Form Incorporated, 22 colon Proof of Registered Office Address, Conveyance Slash Lease Deed rent agreement along with the rent receipts, etc. Semicolon copies of the utility bills as mentioned above, not older than two months, a proof that the company is permitted to use the address as the registered office of the company if the same is owned by any other entity slash person, not taken on lease by company, copy of order of competence authority semicolon list of all the companies, specifying their sin, having the same registered office address, if any, three. Issue, if necessary, a general notice by way of an advertisement in newspapers informing all members and other concerned persons, about the change of situation of the registered office of the company so that they may address all future communications to the company at its new address. 4. Address of the new registered office of the company must also be incorporated on all items of stationery, sign boards and at all other places wherever it occurs. 5. The stock exchanges, where the securities of the company are listed, should also be promptly informed about the change of the registered office of the company. 2. A. Procedure for shifting of registered office outside the local limits of the city, town or village where it is presently situated within the same state under the jurisdiction of the same registrar of companies. According to subsection, 5, of section 12 of the Companies Act, 2013, a company cannot except on the authority of a special resolution passed in general meeting, shift its registered office outside the local limits of the city, town or village where it is presently situated. Accordingly, a company desirous of shifting its registered office outside the local limits of the city, town or village where it is presently situated is required to take the following procedural steps. 1. Hold a board meeting, I, to pass a resolution for shifting the registered office of the company to another place outside the local limits of city, town or village, where it is presently situated, 2. To pass a resolution for fixing time, date and venue for holding general meeting of the company for passing a special resolution pursuant to subsection, 5, of section 12 of the Companies Act, 2013. Company having members up to 200 are not required to transact any business through postal ballot. 3. To pass a resolution approving notice of the general meeting along with the explanatory statement which is required to be annexed to the notice of the meeting as per requirement of Section 117 of the Companies Act. 4. To pass a resolution authorizing the company secretary, director to issue the notice of the general meeting on behalf of the board of directors of the company. 2. Issue notice along with the explanatory statement of the general meeting to each member each director and the auditors of the company. 3. The listed entity shall intimate the stock exchange within 24 hours of the occurrence of the event where the securities of the company are listed, refer Regulation 36 of SEBI, Listing Obligations Disclosure Requirements, Regulations, 2015. 4. If necessary, public notice of the general meeting may also be published in newspapers. 5. Hold the general meeting and pass the special resolution as per notice of the general meeting. 6. Send to each stock exchange, 
a copy of the proceedings of the general meeting in case of a listed company within 24 hours of the occurrence of the event refer Regulation 36 of SEBI, Listing Obligations Disclosure Requirements, Regulations, 2015. 7. File with ROC within 30 days of passing of the Special Resolution of Form MGT. 14 along with a certified true copy of the special resolution passed at the general meeting and the explanatory statement annexed to the notice of the general meeting along with a prescribed filing fee. b. Form Incorporated, 22, containing notice of change of registered office, along with a filing fee and copy of the special resolution. This form contains a verification by any one of these professionals, company secretary or chartered accountant or cost accountant, in whole time practice. Further the company secretary or chartered accountant or cost accountant, in whole time practice, has to personally visit the new registered office address or premises of the company and has to verify that the company actually exists at this address. In this context, he also has to certify that he has personally visited the new registered office address and is of the opinion that the premises are indeed at the disposal of the applicant company. Both the forms form no. MGT 14 and form no. Incorporated 22 require the certification by any practicing professional that is, any whole time practicing CA, CS or CWA. Following documents have to be attached to form incorporated, 22 colon proof of registered office address, conveyance slash lease deed, rent agreement along with the rent receipts etc. Semicolon copies of the utility bills as mentioned above, not older than two months, a proof that the company is permitted to use the address as the registered office of the company if the same is owned by any other entity slash person, not taken on lease by company, copy of order of competence authority semicolon list of all the companies, specifying their sin, having the same registered office address, if any, 8. Issue a public notice by an advertisement in newspapers informing all the members of the company, other concerned persons about the change of registered office of the company so that they may address all future communications to the company at its new address. 9. Change address of the registered office of the company on all items of stationery, sign boards and at all other places wherever it occurs. 10. Inform the stock exchanges, where the securities of the company are listed about the change of registered office of the company. 11. Get the new address of the registered office of the company painted on all the sign boards wherever they are displayed. 12. Write new address of the registered office of the company on all records, registers including the register of members, share certificates, sign boards, name plates etc. 2. B. Procedure for shifting of registered office outside the local limits of the city town or village where it is presently situated to the jurisdiction of another registrar of companies but within the same state. According to Proviso to Sub, Section, 5, of Section 12, a company cannot change the place of its registered office from one place to another from the jurisdiction of one registrar to another within the same state wherein more than one registrar of companies have jurisdiction, unless such change is confirmed by the concerned regional director. Hence, a company, which needs to change its registered office within the same state but under the jurisdiction of another registrar of companies, shall have to take the following procedural steps in addition to the steps 1 to 12, specified in the immediately preceding para that is, 2, a, here of 1. Not less than one month before filing any application with regional director, the company shall publish a notice in a newspaper of local language and also in the English language, 2. Serve individual notices on each debenture holder, depositor and creditor of the company. 3. After special resolution passed for shifting of registered office from the jurisdiction of one registrar to another registrar within same state, the company should make application to the regional director in the prescribed form incorporated. 23. The attachments prescribed along with form incorporated. 23 are colon copy of memorandum of association and articles of association semicolon copy of notice of the general meeting along with relevant explanatory statement semicolon copy of special resolution sanctioning alteration semicolon copy of the minutes of the general meeting authorizing such alteration semicolon power of attorney slash faculty slash board resolution. 
list of creditors and debenture holders semicolon affidavit from directors in terms of rules semicolon affidavit verifying the application semicolon affidavit by the company secretary of the company and the directors in regards to the correctness of list of creditors and affairs of the company semicolon affidavit by directors about no retrenchment of employees semicolon details of prosecution slash inspection slash inquiry slash investigation filed against the company and its officers and default semicolon copy of newspaper advertisement for notice of shifting the registered office semicolon affidavit verifying the list of creditors semicolon proof of service of the application to the registrar, chief secretary of the state, SEBI or any other regulatory authority, if applicable, copy of objections, if received any. 4. The confirmation by regional director shall be communicated within a period of 30 days from the date of receipt of application by the regional director. The company shall file the confirmation with the registrar within a period of 60 days of the date of confirmation. The registrar shall register and certify the registration within a period of 30 days from the date of filing of such confirmation. The shifting of registered office shall not be allowed if any inquiry inspection or investigation has been initiated or any prosecution is pending against the company. 3. Procedure for changing the situation of registered office outside the state in which it is presently situated. Section 13 lays down that a company may, by special resolution, alter the provisions of its memorandum so as to change the place of its registered office from one state to another. The alteration of the provisions of memorandum relating to the change of the place of its registered office from one state to another shall take effect only when it is confirmed by the central government on petition. The central government shall dispose of the application under subsection 4 within a period of 60 days and before passing its order may satisfy itself that the alteration has the consent of the creditors debenture holders and other persons concerned with the company or that the sufficient provision has been made by the company either for the due discharge of all its debts and obligations or that adequate security has been provided for such discharge. Section 13.5, where an alteration of the memorandum results in the transfer of the registered office of a company from one state to another. A certified copy of the order of the central government approving the alteration shall be filed by the company with the registrar of each of the states within such time and in such manner as may be prescribed, who shall register the same, and the registrar of the state where the registered office is being shifted to, shall issue a fresh certificate of incorporation indicating the alteration. A company proposing to shift its registered office from the state where it is presently situated to another state has to follow the following procedure. 1. Hold a board meeting, i, to decide about the proposal to shift the registered office of the company to another state. 2. To fix time, date and venue for holding general meeting of the company for passing a special resolution for altering the memorandum of association of the company so as to change the situation of its registered office of the company to another state, subject to confirmation by the central government and also for authorizing the company secretary to make a petition under subsection 7 of section 13 of the act to the central government seeking confirmation of the alteration of the memorandum of association of the company. 3. To approve notice of the general meeting along with the explanatory statement which is to be annexed to the notice of the meeting, and 4. To authorize the company secretary director to issue notice of the general meeting on behalf of the board of directors of the company. 2. Issue notice, along with the explanatory statement, of the general meeting to all members, directors and the auditors of the company. 3. The listed entity shall intimate the stock exchange within 24 hours of the occurrence of the event where the securities of the company are listed, refer Regulation 36 of SEBI, Listing Obligations and Disclosure Requirements. Regulations, 2015. 4. A general notice of the general meeting may also be published in newspapers. 5. Hold the general meeting and pass the special resolution for altering the memorandum of association of the company so as to change the situation of its registered office to another state, as per notice of the general meeting. Company having members up to 200 are not required to transact any business through postal ballot. 6. Send to each stock exchange, a copy of, proceedings of the general meeting within 24 hours of the occurrence of event as required by Thessaby, listing obligations and disclosure requirements, 
Regulations, 2015. 7. Intimate Stock Exchange about alterations in memorandum and articles of the company within 24 hours of the occurrence of event. Refer Regulation 36 of SEBI, Listing Obligations and Disclosure Requirements, Regulations, 2015, 8. File with the ROC within 30 days of passing of the resolution, Form MGT-14 along with the certified true copy of the special resolution passed at the general meeting along with the explanatory statement annexed to the notice of the general meeting and the prescribed filing fee. 9. As per Rule 30 of the Companies, Incorporation. Rules 2014, the application for seeking approval for alteration of the memorandum with regard to the change of place of the registered office form one state to another shall be filed with the central government in Form Incorporated 23 and shall be accompanied by the following documents, i, a copy of the memorandum and articles of association, 2, a copy of the notice convening the general meeting along with relevant explanatory statement, 3. A copy of the special resolution sanctioning the alteration by the members of the company. 4. A copy of the minutes of the general meeting at which the resolution authorizing such alteration was passed, giving details of the number of votes cast in favor or against the resolution. V. An affidavit verifying the application. V. The list of creditors and debenture holders entitled to object to the application. 7. An affidavit verifying the list of creditors. 8. The document relating to payment of application fee. 9. A copy of board resolution or power of attorney or the executed vacuolitnema, as the case may be. 8. There shall be attached to the application a list of creditors and debenture holders, drawn up to the latest practicable date preceding the date of filing of application by not more than one month, setting forth the following details, namely, I the names and address of every creditor and debenture holder of the company, 2, the nature and respective amounts due to them in respect of debts, claims or liabilities. 9. The applicant company shall file an affidavit, signed by the company secretary of the company, if any and not less than two directors of the company, one of whom shall be a managing director, where there is one, to the effect that they have made a full inquiry into the affairs of the company and, having done so, have formed an opinion that the list of creditors is correct, and that the estimated value as given in the list of the debts or claims payable on a contingency or not ascertain are proper estimates of the values of such debts and claims and that there are no other debts of or claims against the company to their knowledge. 10. There shall also be attached to the application an affidavit from the directors of the company that no employee shall be retrenched as a consequence of shifting of the registered office from one state to another state and also there shall be an application filed by the company to the chief secretary of the concerned state government or the union territory 11. A duly authenticated copy of the list of creditors shall be kept at the registered office of the company and any person desirous of inspecting the same may at any time during the ordinary hours of business, inspect and take extracts from.